Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Helene Honey. If it's your first time here, welcome. So today let's talk about our mental health. You guys, I feel like it's so interesting because in the world that we're in, logic and your mind is what people focus on. And when we talk about mental health, it's about learning how to feel good within yourself and be in a state of peace, right? Feel. Your emotions are connected to your mind. Everything is connected and everything serves a purpose. And so we call it mental health, but it's connected to your emotional health and your emotional wellness. Here on this channel, I love to share with you guys how I moved myself into a healthier place within, how I self-healed after smoking weed for like over 10 years and being in toxic patterns. I learned how to break myself free. It's about the inner world, the inner work that I was doing on myself. And so your mental health matters and it's gonna create your state of being your vibration, how you're feeling, your mood, and your life day to day. And so you wanna take care of yourself and care about your wellness, how you feel matters. And that's why I love learning about feminine energy because even as a woman, we're not taught. And so we could be super disconnected from our true self, our feelings, women and men. For women, when you tap into your emotions and when you start learning how to regulate your emotions learning how to take care of your emotional health and be in your feminine energy you're gonna feel at ease and at peace you're gonna naturally just relax and things are gonna make so much sense you're gonna increase your mental health this way because you're a woman and so naturally it's gonna feel good to you but it's also so important for men to learn how to take care of their mental health, which is connected to their emotional health because men especially have been disconnected from their feminine energy and taught that their emotions are to be ignored and repressed, suppressed. They shouldn't listen to them because the world has conditioned us that only logic matters, just your mind and your willpower your strength your masculine energy is what matters and makes you strong and anything that is not that makes you weak but that is one of the biggest lies on the planet right now and it's tearing humanity down it's suppressing us it has us off balance men are off balance and so are women because the reason we have feminine energy and we want to learn about it is because it matters it's part of creation and so we want to learn to balance it. We have to incorporate it. But before we can incorporate it, we have to learn about it, right? And so, you guys, I was watching that movie with my daughter last night, Inside Out 2. And I love that. I'm like, how, how, how have I never seen this? The, these movies? Pixar created these movies. But I'm like, this channel is literally about healing from the inside out. Your emotional health and your well-being, your wellness, your beauty, which is within you. And just our spiritual path, right? And how we elevate and feel better within ourselves every day. So of course I loved that movie. I didn't know what to expect, but I definitely recommend it. Check it out if you haven't seen it. I love that they were teaching us through a kid's movie. So it was very easy to understand about our emotions and how it affects our mental health and how each of us as humans are operating and why we lost touch with our emotions, why we suppress them, and the consequences that they can have. Your mental health matters so much and it is tied to how you feel, okay? So you never want to ignore how you feel or pretend that you're okay if you're not okay. It's okay to not be okay. So what's the first way to take care of your mental health? Allow yourself to feel. Your feelings are not evil. Your feelings are not bad. Your feelings are there with intention. We were created to feel. That's what makes us human. And so it's not our job to ignore how we feel, suppress it, rise above how we feel because that you're bypassing 
what it's trying to tell you. Your feelings are your inner guidance system. This is one of the most powerful things I learned on my healing journey is to tap within, to first illuminate what is there, what's inside of you. You guys, how did I quit smoking weed on my own without any professional help? Like, how did I do it? I tapped within myself. I, allow, I allowed myself to be alone and connected to my inner self, my inner world. And I shined light on it, shadow work, inner work. And I had to recognize how I was feeling. At first it feels scary because we have this ego. Everybody has an ego on earth, right? Your ego doesn't wanna feel weak. It's gonna, it's gonna tell you that you don't need to look at your feelings. It's gonna, it's gonna, it wants to feel superior and in charge, in control. But your feelings are in a sense out of control, but they're guiding you. They're, they are a guide to what is happening within you. You don't have to listen to your feelings as in take the action that your feeling is telling you to do. And that's the huge, huge misconception because there's, it's a spiritual walk on earth. And so you can be so close to the truth and then someone can come twist it around and put you in the wrong direction. It's not that you're, you have to do what your feelings tell you. You don't, you have sovereignty over your choices, but your feelings are there as a reflection of what is happening within you. So first we have to recognize what those feelings are and we should honor the feelings, take action in alignment with the feelings if it's true to ourself and our heart. And so this inner dive, this inner work that we do helps us to know ourselves better and helps us to get in tr get on track with our mental health but if you refuse to acknowledge your feelings and the significance of them not only do they persist but then you're starting to carry stagnant energy with you and you're not being true to yourself because you have to it's your job to take care of your mental health and one way we do this is by feeling our feelings feelings are energy in motion emotions our energy in motion that's what an emotion is so imagine if it's just trying to it's like feelings are so beautiful because they're just revealing to you spiritually what's happening within you and what a beautiful gift from our creator this is your feminine energy feminine energy is like water and you know how the moon controls the oceans right the moon up in the sky can, when there's a full moon, okay, it's controlling our emotions. It's bringing them to the surface. So whatever has been down there is starting to rise up. And that's why you'll feel more intense emotions when there's a full moon. The moon is connected to how we feel, our feminine energy, everything's connected. So you want to be in tune with yourself. How do you take care of your mental health? You become in tune with yourself. You start to prioritize how you feel and then you honor that if it's in alignment with you. Okay, so many people have been taught to just be quiet. And so that's called suppression, right? Suppression is depression. When you don't acknowledge what you're feeling and you when you think that you should just keep it down, it doesn't go anywhere. Now you're carrying like years and years and years of maybe bad, ill feelings, and it causes dis-ease. You're not in harmony, you're not at peace, you're not in ease. And so like, that's how I healed myself after 10 years of smoking, because when you reach for a substance, any substance, it's to reduce the pain, it's to relieve stress, stress, right? Feelings of uneasiness, bad feelings. And so the problem with smoking, for example, is that you smoke weed and then your mind will trick you that, oh, you feel better, but you don't. You didn't heal. You didn't acknowledge it. You didn't resolve anything. You just pushed it down. And now imagine doing that day after day, year after year after year. Do you know how much is built up? So how did I heal myself? I allowed those feelings to surface and at first it feels scary because you haven't been in touch. We've been disconnected. 
from our feminine energy. And so when they first start to come up, you can feel scared because you feel out of control. You're not in control of your feelings, of your heart. These are decisions you don't make with your mind, but it's your soul, your spirit. It's a spiritual thing and it's happening for a reason. The divine is not giving you bad feelings to punish you. It's giving you bad feelings so that you can recognize how you truly feel so that you can make a change. And that's what I decided to do. When I got to the root of how I felt, I, start, I started to see, okay, where did that feeling come from? When did I first start to feel like that? Is that feeling even true? And I started to work on my mental health by telling myself a new story, affirming to myself what I actually truly know to be true about myself and that's why you guys should check out that movie inside out too because it was interesting at first the little girl the first part of her life she only had certain feelings basic feelings happiness sadness anger envy i think there was i don't know there's like a, just a few of them then she turned 13 puberty started and all of a sudden all of these new emotions <laughs> started to happen within her and one of the biggest ones was anxiety embarrassment and that's that transition right from a kid to starting to grow up and the problem is is that when we don't know how to manage our emotions because we're never taught then we can suppress them not know how to deal with them think we are our emotions and it can cause chaos and stress and so your mental health matters right the first step is looking at how you feel and letting that be okay and if you feel more comfortable doing this with somebody you can everybody is a bit different but me personally i was able to do this work on my own but sometimes you want to talk it out one of the key ways to take care of your mental health is to express what is inside so if you want to do this privately then you can journal it out write how you feel i talk about this in the course i created on how to quit smoking weed write it out but maybe just talk it out too however you want to express what's within sometimes it's going to be expressed through tears sadness but that's okay because you're human. And so here's the thing that blocks people's mental health. Why are people walking around angry, sad, in pain, and they don't really know why? Because sometimes you can't put your finger on it. There's this sad feeling, but you don't know where it stems from. What's blocking you is your ego, is your stubbornness, is your pride that you want to, you're listening to your ego instead of your heart and your spirit. Your spirit is going to be surrendered and knows that the ego lies, okay, to protect you. But surrender, be humble, and you can ask for help, either from others, from God. Be patient with yourself and become vulnerable with yourself, right, which means honesty. If something has hurt you in your life, that is okay. Be tender with it. Be sweet with yourself, be there for yourself. You don't have to be strong. See me, I don't think that pushing past your feelings is strong. That's a lie in the world. To me, that's weak. That's unwillingness to look at the truth. What's strong to me is vulnerability, having the strength and the will to be honest and face yourself with clear eyes. And if more people started to do this, we'd be they'd be in a healthier space. We'd be in a healthier world. It doesn't make you weak to feel. It makes you incredibly strong. You guys, sometimes we don't want to face our own selves. We can be afraid of our own self. And people can distract themselves in countless ways. But you're going to, you're the one that, you're with for all of you, all of your life, right? At the end of the day, when you start your day, your whole life. And so there's nothing more important than you learning how to take care of yourself inside. So care for yourself. This is how you practice self-care within. Sometimes we can feel ashamed or guilty like there's something wrong with us or we can feel weak 
and this is the collective programming whenever you're feeling a bad feeling but i want you to remember that you're human and there's it's there's it's one love oneness one consciousness throughout all of life so there's no feeling that you're feeling that someone else is not hasn't felt as well or is currently feeling as well they're very basic emotions we all feel them so like for example fear fear was <laughs> fear was one of those um emotions in that movie right and so fear will keep you stuck and keep you afraid don't listen to your fear you know like in that case you want to rise above it but before you rise above it why are you afraid that's that's where the beauty is that's where the richness is that's where the wisdom is why are you afraid what are you afraid of and see that's why we have emotions because they're teaching us so that we can grow we don't grow by ignoring it and pretending we're not afraid we grow by looking at it and seeing why and once we discover why, making a decision, a new decision about ourselves. And when you start to take the action in alignment with a new decision, now you're growing. Now you're changing, you're transforming, and you're releasing the fear. And you're more equipped. So the next time you feel afraid, you're like, oh, well, I got through it last time. I'm going to get through it this time. Right? Like, okay, when I was smoking weed, what was something I was afraid of? Well, I was afraid to feel. I felt like what will happen if i don't have it i'll feel bad and then that keeps you powerless because you're like oh well, then i need the weed i don't want to feel bad but instead it's like well why were you feeling bad and when you look at those reasons you're like you you might be telling yourself this story that doesn't empower you like oh because nothing will ever change but it's really it's you keeping yourself stuck in a situation you don't like so you have the power to create a different life. You have the power to take care of your mental health. You're equipped, you're powerful, you can make new decisions, you can change, it's possible, but you just need to be brave, courageous, and want something to change. You don't wanna get stuck in pain, stuck in fear. That doesn't serve you. Right. And so we don't want to be the victim in our own life when we have the power, like the divine is within you. And so recognize this and then step into your power so that you can make a shift for the better. Your mental health matters. Another way to take care of your mental health is just to simply rest and disconnect from the world. Something that I'll do is I will make some time for me and it can be hard to do because we have priorities in life and we have responsibilities in life. Maybe you're a parent, your relationship, your work, your health, you have all these things you want to do, your friends and, you know, entertainment, right? All the distractions, social media and, you know, movies, music, and there's so many things you can do, right? Your passion projects and what about getting to the bag, the money and whatever it is you're doing in your life. But you matter. Your mental health matters. How do you take care of it? Disconnect from everything. Turn off the phone. Turn off the TV. When the kids go to bed or if you're like just on your own, even better. When your roommates are out or whatever the case is, like make a little time for you. And for me, the way this, this is the most effective is that it needs to be silent. I used to be so afraid to be in silence on my own. It was eerie to me, but now it is so sacred to me. It's so essential for my mental health. How to take care of your mental health is to make some time for you, just for you, to spend time with you. And this is how you get to know yourself better, check on yourself and express, just simply be. Masculine energy wants to do, but feminine energy simply is. Your being you're feeling, you're in the present moment. There's nothing to do but to spend time with you so that you can connect with yourself. Quietly affirm yourself, maybe meditate, hear what's within, journal, right? Like be with you and create a safe space within yourself. And that's why for me, it's been powerful to learn how to take care of my mental health 
on my own because I'm more of a private person. So I didn't want to go talk to how I was feeling to other people, but maybe you do and that's okay. But there's a lot of power in being alone as well because you're never alone. The divine is with you. And so you can pray, you can talk to God and you can connect with your spirit guides, angels, higher self, your soul, your inner self. You can receive downloads messages when you're in stillness and quietness. When you've created time to do this means it becomes something you need to do, want to do, make time to do. This is how you're going to gain insight and you're going to gain inner peace. Because if you're afraid to be alone, there's a reason why. What are you going to discover? What's going to cross your mind? You guys, we are not our thoughts. We're not our emotions. This is our human experience. And so embrace how we were created. But you're the soul and you're the consciousness, the awareness in your body. In this way, you don't have to be afraid. You can instead embrace your spiritual journey by like learning and healing what needs to be healed and starting to see things that maybe were hiding from you in your shadows. And when we start to do this, you might be a little different from other people, but that's okay because we're awakening and we're learning more about ourselves. And this is how we heal. This is how we take care of our mental health, you guys. So this is what I wanted to share with you today. I'm sending you so much love and power and healing on your journey. Drop me a comment down below. Take care of yourself. I'll see you next time. Bye.